coach Daniel Rios had an incredible goal last week. I still actually watch it in slow motion, wondering if it's going to make it in. Barely grazes the goalpost. Did you think that it was going to go in when you saw him kick it? Uh, you have to be honest, at that point in time, no. Um, it's a wonderful strike and I think it typifies what Daniel's capable of. Um, at that point in the game, world-class strike puts us in front and uh, should have really been enough for us to go on and, and maybe even get more out of the game. And you guys were plagued with injuries against Louisville. Do you feel like that played a part in you guys' loss? I'm sure there were some, uh, some dynamics in the changes that didn't help our group. However, we do have a strong squad and I'm not going to make any excuses as to, to why we didn't get what we wanted out of the game. I would imagine that the players shifting in and out of positions didn't help in the way that we needed to see out the game. However, um, you know, the, the big thing now is to look at those players and try and get them back fit again as quickly as possible and, and get them back up and running. Absolutely. So you have 11 days off until you play Memphis. How crucial is this time to recover not only physically but mentally? I think there's a lot that we need to be looking at. I see this as our most difficult period in the season. Um, first time we've lost back-to-back -back games. So the players have got a challenge on their hands. There's a lot of hard work going on in these next few days. I think it really, um, when you're in these sort of moments, it starts to, to test the quality of the group, the character of the group. And if this team's going to achieve anything this year, then they've got to come back stronger. And they've certainly got to get back on track quicker rather than later. Yes, and in-state rivalries just mean more. You guys got the best of Memphis earlier in the season. How do you solidify bragging rights when you face them on the road? Well, it was a tough game at home. Um, if I remember rightly, we scored two goals in the last 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, they certainly performed very well on the night. The season, I'm sure, has not gone the way they would have wanted it to, but for expansion teams, I can certainly speak from experience, and it's not easy. So I'm sure there's plenty of good work going on up there. Those players are maybe feeling a little bit more continuity and rapport. We have to get a good result in Memphis. It won't be easy. They have great support, but for sure we'll be going there with that mindset. And we've talked so much about how great the backing Nashville SC has. You guys just started selling season tickets for your season next year when you join the MLS. As a coach, how exciting is it to see such a backing and such a support after only being a team for two years? I, I think it's phenomenal, first and foremost. Um, secondly, um, I do believe that this city was ready for MLS and for the top level of soccer. Um, the support that we've had has been outstanding. I can only imagine what it will be like in MLS. Um, I'm sure that those numbers will swell, um, be it in the roadies or any of the other supporter groups. And uh, of course the players, when they get here at that point, will be looking forward to a, a phenomenal atmosphere, one that really helps the team not only secure victories at home, but, but causes a few problems maybe for the away fans.